obey my commandments. A key to church multiplication. Under the law of Moses, God made many promises to those who would obey together His commandments. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, by loving the Lord your God, then you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Similarly, if you seek to make disciples and to multiply churches, then you must learn with your co-workers to practice together the commandments of Jesus. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number, day by day, those who were being saved. Obedience is not legalism. Of course, your eternal salvation remains a free gift of God for those who put their faith in Jesus Christ. By grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. This truth excludes legalism as a way in which to please God who has saved you who believe in Jesus. We hold that one is justified by faith, apart from works of the law. Nevertheless, having saved us by His grace through our faith alone, God still wants us so to love Jesus that we obey His commandments. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Seven Outcomes of Obedience Those who obey together Jesus' commandments receive all that he has promised. For example, Eternal Salvation Although Jesus was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. The Holy Spirit We are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Love one for another Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Freedom from habitual sins You who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart, and having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. Increased joy and peace. Your obedience is known to all, so that I rejoice over you. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Effective Discipleship All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Successful Church Multiplication By His resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of His name among all the nations. Advice for Church Planting Teams Form teams into temporary little churches that obey together Jesus' commandments including the Lord's Supper. Authorized church planters, evangelists, and local leaders 
to start obeying immediately Jesus' main commandments in new cells. Teach Jesus' main commandments as part of evangelism. Instruct new believers in obedience to Jesus' commandments from the start. Consider no new church to be planted until its members obey regularly Jesus' main commandments. Seven Main Commandments of Jesus 1. Repent and believe the good news. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. 2. Baptize new believers. Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 3. Pray in my name. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. 4. Love God and others. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 5. Remember my death. He took bread, broke it and gave it to them saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 6. Give freely. Give, and it will be given to you. For with the measure you use it will be measured back to you. 7. Make disciples. Go make disciples of all nations. I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age.